Hello again, good afternoon and welcome to Business on the News. The continuous fall in commodity prices has not impacted negatively on government earnings from traditional exports. That's the conclusion one may draw after going through the Bank of Ghana's economic and financial data ending April this year. George Biafi has more. According to the data, the state as of April this year secured almost $5 billion from traditional exports. Earnings from gold was $2.2 billion. Cocoa stood at $1.1 billion, while the state got $845 million from oil exports. Total earnings as of April this year is still higher than what is secured in the same period for last year. Persons close to government are attributing the pickup to increase in volumes exported, so that could make up for any drop in prices on the international market. The development could help show up government's revenue, which we understand has been experiencing some challenges in the first quarter of this year. The returns could also motivate cocoa farmers who are hoping for improved payments from government when the cocoa season opens later this year. For the mining firms in Ghana, it could be all smiles after most of them were forced to close down some mining sites because of declining returns due to falling prices on the world market. Now, the Public Interest and Accountability Committee, PIAC, is calling for government to give its prosecutorial role to enable it to prosecute any persons found to have dipped their hands into the oil uh, revenue. This was said at a forum in Kumasi, in the Ashanti region. We'll bring you some more on this particular development as we speak with some experts of the oil and gas sector. That's it for business. My name is Emmanuel Abouaji. We have a shortly. I'll bring you the market, please.